So hello my friends, in this section we are going to make a detailed video post page. So if we come in here, come to our landing page and then if we click just one of the videos in here, so we come inside in here, this is the detailed video post page. So, so we are going to make just this part not the subscribe or like part maybe we will do this one later so we will see this one this is the steps so how we will do in this section so first we will make the empty detail post page this empty page and then we will make a routing for the post page so we will make this landing page in our last section so in here so if we want to come in here we need to have this path so to get this pass, we need to make the routing and then we need, we need to make a template for a detail page just this template uh, template for the video and template for the avatar and then user information and then we need to fetch the video post the data from the mongodb and lastly we will populate the data on browser so first we will go to our text editor in here and first i'm going to run our application npm run dev so now we are in our landing page so we will make the so now we will make this empty video page so click back over to our text editors in here inside the views we make the further named detail video page so inside detail video page we will make the file detail video page javascript so in here i'm going to use the rfce for the functional component and i'm going to just say detail page save it and then we come back to our application but even though we already made the page there is no way to go inside that page we just made it so that's why we need to make the routing so to make the routing so we need to go to app.js in here uh, we need to import detail video page from views and detail video page and detail video page and then we need to copy and paste it for the route and then we copy and paste these two components and uh, we want to let anyone to go inside this detail video page so we will change this one into NUR and then we want to uh, change the path into video and the video ID so if we come in here so each of these video post has their own video ID so that's why when we go inside this detailed page we need to use this videos ID unique ID and in react when we make the queries the we will just use this one after that we will just write the name and that that is how to make the query inside the react.js so we cop we save it so we go back to our application and when we click any of the video in here we want to go inside the page but so we didn't attach the link in here so so first we are going to attach the link in here so in here and landing page i want to keep the a tab in here wrap i want to wrap this part so href will be video and so we say video and the video id but the video id is the video and id now we can go inside the the detailed page by clicking this one so i'm going to click it so now you can see here detailed page and then if we see this url so you can see video and then videos id it is starting from 5dea this is the video id that belongs to this detailed page so i made the routing for post page so it's time to make a template for detail page so I go to the detailed page in here I will make template unlike the previous sections 
I actually don't want to type all of the template right now because that it took so so long time to type all of the template. So I'm go just going to paste it uh, from my source code. I got it from the the entity design. I need to import the entity design in here. I need to have the wrist and avatar and and typography and wrist from and design so now we have this template so if i explain it so we will have the wrapper div so we also have the video tag and then we also have the list and inside the list we have the avatar the user image and then title and descriptions so we go back to our application so if you see we have this the video and then avatar here avatar here and and username in here so from now on what we need to do is the fetch the video post data from the mongodb so we do so to fetch the video information from the mongodb i will just do use effect delete this part and delete this part and use effect comes from the react so i put it in here and then to HTTP request, I'll bring the Axios in here. This will be post request. And the pass will be IP and video and get video. And we need to have the variable to send into the server. So that will be just the video variable. So we didn't have this one yet, so we need to make it. So, so now we need to think about so which data do we need to send to get the this video information. Uh, that is this video ID we have in this URL. So how can we get this the video URL to stay in here? So the way is we will use the props match and params and video id the reason why i say the video id is if we go back to our app.js and we say video and video id so if we uh, say this query like this we need to use this one to get that value so video id so we will just uh, set this one as a value and video all id so we put it in here video value is the video value so we do the then and response we got back from the server and then if response and data and success we do something else alert failed to get video info info so i'm going to save it and i'm going to go to the video loud to make this routing so and then i'm going to copy this the path get video and then i'm going to video rouse in here i paste it in and copy this one and then paste it and i'm going to copy it get video and just put it in here and I just delete this part we are not going to use it but right now, right now we are going to just uh, find only one video that belong to this page so I'm going to say video model and then find one and when we find only one video we will use that video ID and then video id will be request the body and if we come back to video page we say the video id so that's why we need to put this one here video id request the body video id so and we do the populate again for the writer and then execute and we can also get the error or we can get the video information uh, we need to do like this if we have error return response and status 
400 and send error so if it was successful status 200 and json and success true and video information we send to the client we go back to detail video page and then we will see which data we got from the backend response uh, response and the data so copy it. if you look at here so um, video and we got all of the data about this one video so we are going to populate this data on the screen so we go back to our detail page and then in here first we need to put this video data inside the state so first we will make that state by using use state comes from the react hook so we need to import it again from the react this one is the just a video okay video and set video initial state will be just a initial state will be just a array and then we uh put this set video in here yeah so we get response data video inside in here and save it and then by using this video state so we can just write we can just write the http local host 5000 because our server's port is 5000 and then video and file path you see here video and file path so that's why I say video file path and then we don't have action yet we will have a later for the like or subscribe button and then we have the avatar source is the video writer image and for the title video title and we can put the description here if you want to so the video description in here so i'm going to save it and then come back in here uh, we have some error in here so maybe we need to do like this uh, video writer so if we have a video writer we will just render this one so i'm going to save it again and then try uh, you see we can have our avatar and the and then title and then description and then our, our video so now we got our basic detailed video post I thank you for watching this video and see you in our next section. Thank you.